Hey everyone, unfortunately, I just learned how to replace a window in my RV. Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the discovery of our broken window in our Grand Design RV, what we had to do to replace it, uh, the installation on that, and a few other things as we go. Now, this window is the window uh, on our campsite and is our master bedroom escape window. Now, thankfully, there was nothing damaged on the inside. We didn't have any water inside. There was a big storm that rolled through, but we can't exactly chalk it up to the storm because we don't, we're not really sure when it happened. Uh, but the good thing is, again, there was no damage inside and there was no damage on the exterior walls, only a broken window. I'm surprised they don't have film on them like a car. Now, since I had to order a window, uh, I knew that would take a couple of days. So I took a trash bag and taped it up. Now, when in doubt, use duct tape. Now, the first thing that I did was actually called Grand Design. But this was a Friday afternoon when I discovered the window was broken. And unfortunately, Grand Design was already closed. Thank you for calling Grand Design RV customer service. Our offices are currently closed. Evidently, Grand Design was actually closed altogether because of COVID-19, uh, along with some of the RV repair shops that uh, are in my area, including the one where I purchased my RV from. So I had to email Grand Design because I heard that they had been uh, responding to emails still. So that was good. And I emailed uh, Grand Design on a Friday afternoon. On Monday, I had a response. So they, they are responding uh, in a pretty timely manner still. The first thing they did, of course, was ask me for my VIN number so that they could get the, um, the diagram of the RV. And then they actually sent me the blueprint, like the diagram, with all the measurements of the RV, including the part numbers. Uh, that way I could easily identify which window it was and what part number uh, corresponded to that window. I wasn't able to actually order it with Grand Design, but they did send a list of preferred dealers uh, that were still open. So I ended up having to call a dealer in Kentucky uh, to order the window. They were great and it took me like less than 10 minutes to actually order the window. Now the window cost me about $135 to replace and then there was about a $35 uh, additional charge for the shipping. Now, of course, the first thing we had to do was actually remove the remaining parts of the old window and the hardware and get it nice and cleaned up, uh, clean a bunch of glass up off my driveway, of course, uh, and get things thrown away. But we put the kids to work, uh, of course, with gloves because there was a bunch of broken glass. Um, and my kids are older, I have teenagers. So we put them to work. I'm so excited. We can take the trash bag off of our window, hopefully. You gotta open it and make sure it's the right side. Yes. Well, we gotta make sure it's the right window. And two, the box is kind of tore up and wet, so <laughs> evidently it's been outside um, on a journey. So what I have to do is take this window out of the frame, it's just these two screws, and then it'll slide out, which is nice. Now the window actually comes in its two pieces. You have the uh, outside frame, that is the one sealed into the RV itself, and then you have the window piece that's actually hinging off of that. Uh, it, it actually has like an L shape uh, channel that kind of connects like this, and then there's a screw on each end that means that the window can't slide side to side. But what that did mean is I could take those two screws out pretty easily and slide the old frame right out without having to take the frame that's in the wall sealed out of the RV. And I have to be honest, if it was any other window other than that one or another escape window, um, 
it, it would have went to a dealer. There's no way that I'm going to try to pry that frame out and uh, make sure, like, just feel comfortable about it being sealed trying to put a new window back in. So the only reason I attempted this is because it was that window and it was very easy to remove and to reinstall. So that was pretty easy. The one thing I'll say is that they didn't actually screw um, the two screws in in the same spot on both windows. So I did end up having to drill a little bit of a hole to make sure that they lined up. Should go real easy. but nothing that was going to leak water or anything like that into the RV, so that was fine. Now, once I got the window in, I reinstalled the screws, I put the hardware in, put it through the, uh, the window, because you know you have that little um, handle that comes through that allows you to push it open. I uh, put the screen back on, and we were good to go. Now, of course, when you walk out and you see a broken window in your RV, you don't think it's going to be uh, that easy of a job to replace, but in this case it was. Um, also working with Grand Design, that's the first time I had to work with them on a repair. I will say that they live up to their word and they also lived up to the expectations that I have set based on the comments that, from the rest of the community. Um, every time I hear of somebody having to work with Grand Design, it has all been uh, very positive feedback. Now, again, I know this was pretty simple installation, but I wanted to make this video just so that you knew in case something like this was to occur with your RV, um, something that could, you know, have the potential or seem like a really big problem was actually took very little effort to fix. And that is always a good day when you're out camping. Hello, you look pretty again. Anything you would like to say? I'm glad it came in that quick. I didn't even know it shipped. It's been, what, a week? Yeah. And the best part is I didn't have to go to an RV repair shop. All right. Well, that's it. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button. It does really help out. Um, if you want to see what else One Strange Adventure has to offer, make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified when new content is released. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. And until the next Strange Adventure, keep making your own.